Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Cosmic Cuba Glossy. <clears throat> I'll get to it uh, ASAP. Thank you for the reminder. What's up, Pimpins? Oh my god, a little bit behind, a little bit behind. Uh, just took the tiny dog to the vet, just Ubered back, and Bonet has got it right now. It was in like dog parent panic mode, so we will not be visited. We will, not, we will have no tiny dog alerts today. Poor little serendipity. Uh, I mean, like, they're doing tests right now, Drago. <clears throat> We're not totally... I mean, we have, like, a bit of a treatment right now. I mean, like, they think she's getting dehydrated, but, like, 24-hour testing is where we're at right now. I think it's bacterial. We'll find out. And my phone might be going off the hook during the show because, obviously, Bonet needs to... Oh, my God. Ugh. I'm not going to mute myself. This is brutal. Sorry guys, I just reset the clock five more minutes. I got this epic text. Oh my god, vets. <laughs> oh god. Alright. I'll be right back.
All right, back. We're going to get this thing started officially in a minute. 37 seconds, guys. Sorry to keep you waiting. <clears throat> dog in vet. Bonet hysterical. Dog needing 24 to 48 hours observation. <laughs> vet hitting us with insane amounts of fucking dollar bills to continue this thing. <laughs> it's crazy how much of a business medical is. He had the big ten four there, Big Ben. Yeah, we definitely got the front door, good buddy. Mercy sakes alive, looks like we got us a convoy. Yo, dog Candy Boucher here. Next level painting hitting you up on the literal best of all days. This glorious Friday afternoon, Hollywood, California, from the Beats Lab, the newly redesigned Beats Lab coming into 2017. I know, it took me six months. What's up, everybody? Big shout outs to everybody in the stream. Got my man Jack of Clubs, Drago, Hannah, The Huff, Cosmic Cubicle, The Triumphant Return, <clears throat> Warlander, and many more, which I'll be getting to you. We have three hours to get all this going. Sorry for being a little late, guys. Um, like I said, uh, keep you guys updated. Uh, no tiny dog alerts today. Saren uh, was sick today. Uh, she went down. We took her to the vet. I had to Uber back. Bonet's still with her. Bonet was hysterical. Obviously, she's a vet. she has a big heart. And so, like, anytime anything's going down with the dog, it's very emotional. But also, she's a righteous. <laughs> she, she doesn't fuck around. And so, now she's dealing with, like, sadness for her dog, but also like straight fury at every vet you go to. Like, here's all the money you need to give us before you even look at your dog, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's a business, you know? So, cause she's a business person, so she hates it. <laughs> so I'm dealing with that right now. That's why I was late. My phone will be on during the stream. Uh, there might, there's a slight chance I might have to take a call. I don't know. And if I do, I apologize. I know it's super unprofessional. It makes me sad that it has to happen. Airman's Wrath, what's up, brother? No doubt, brother. I'll do whatever I can, homie. Yeah, Cosmic Cubicle says, for my cats, my wife takes them in, and I'll ask how much I owe. I never like the numbers. No. Uh, the numbers which have just I have just received, I actually had to go to my PayPal account to make sure I had enough money in it. Like, that's how bad it was. <laughs> it's brutal. Like, I feel like I could buy a car right now. <laughs> like, but... It, my dog is my child, you know, that's how it is. Don't don't have an animal if you can't take care of an animal and you're not willing to put it up. Anyway, enough of the sad talk. Saren is fine. They're holding her. They're getting her they're getting her hydrated. Uh, they said her red red blood cells going crazy. She's like they think it's bacterial, so we feel like we know what's wrong, and so now we can seek treatment, so it's all good. Kev Rob, yeah, I know. I just found that out. Twenty five seconds ago. <laughs> I found out that exact similar, a number very similar to that number. We got lots of things to do today. So it's all very exciting time, guys. And thank you, guys. I will tell Bonet how much you guys care about Sarah. And that will make her feel great. All the positive vibes. Um, so what we have today is we first off, it's the last show of the month, which means we got the mega gift bag giveaway. 
just like we used to do with Revelo. Rest in peace. We still have one of those. So anyone who's got about 1,500 Yo Dogs uh, can combine on that raffle. We'll do that at the end of the show. Now, we have definitely sold out of intros and gift bags. Like I said last show, we with the rash of redemptions, blasted through them and even more than I normally would stock. Um, so exclamation point quantities will always keep you updated, but those two items have been removed. So if you're sitting on 1,500 Yo Dogs, you got nothing to spend them on, you will be able to spend them on the mega raffle at the end of the show. Obviously, we're full up on 8th edition swag still in our swag crates. We got all the gift bag ultras. We are literally loaded down with giveaways, prizes. Still good to go. So, today's a big day, obviously. The new video just dropped on Patreon. Nurgle Corrosion, in which we bang down that gangster-ass Plague Reaper, or whatever it's called, that the, the Contagion Lord has. We did a video on it. It's out right now on Patreon. And, um, of course... You can always see it on YouTube in two weeks. It don't matter. What we also have is Marble Secretly Easy. That just made it to YouTube, guys. So if you guys were waiting for this video to drop on YouTube uh, because you're not a Patreon, which is totally fine, this just happened. So now you can go on there, check it out. Don't don't leave the show. Stay in the show. But then after the show, go watch that Mar Marble Secretly Easy. Big deal, big deal. Also, it's here. The shirts. We're taking pre-orders on the new shirt, the Not Science shirt. It's a 30-day sale like we do. It's a one day early, but uh, just exclamation point shirts. Uh, there's the links in the description box below. They're up. Same price as they were last time. Same shipping rates. It's $15 international. I'm sorry. It just has to be that way. $5 domestic. You can... And we got fits and sizes and one little easy to understand PayPal tab. You just follow the links. It's all, it's all good in the hood. Jack of Clubs in the hizzy says, Just clear coated my lords of contagion. Picks when they're dry. Can't wait, brother. Oh, Lawson. Thanks, brother. So, yeah, we did redesign uh, the layout here a little bit. So, now you'll notice that we have. Here, let me go to the money shot real quick. So, you'll notice right here. Look at the pointer. This is where we put all the promotional commands that we normally just have floating around the screen for whatever's going on today. So, we have. We ha we have the shirts that'll take you to the, to the link to buy a shirt if you're interested. You have all month though, all next month, so no rush. Top D, today is Mark of the Beast donation day, so 666. And here's something kind of new right here, guys. Exclamation point 10% will actually take you to our new promo code. Good for 24 hours at Gamers Grass. So literally, there's a promotion code that you can get by hitting that link, hit hitting that command, hitting that link, go over there. Input the promotion code. You get 10% off of Gramer's Grass, like Gramer's Grass, starting right now for 24 hours from this moment. Spiky Bits TV. I indeed, I do have a Robbie B sized. Hannah, come on. You know I put it in there for you. Is the command not working? You know, I, I noticed the command was derping out on me yesterday for uh, this 10% dealy. Let me see if I can get it. Let me see if I can get it fit operational. Promos. Hold on, let me, let me jump in here real quick. Make sure our... Oh, wait, do I not have it? Did I, <laughs> did I fuck that up? Oh, you know what? Maybe I accidentally deleted it. Ugh. That's upsetting. Hold on a second. I got you guys. I'm putting it in right now. Oh, no. It's there. Wait, hold on. Is it there? Did Hannah, did you, did you just type that? It went off once. Okay, let's change the command. Let's see if we can get this to work.
Okay, guys, try exclamation point gamer's grass. See, that works. There it is. Next level grass. Follow that link, guys. There you go. It's updated. All right. Okay, so now we got all that bullshit promoting out of the way. We can talk about what we're about to about to work on right now. Okay. So obviously, here's the axe that we worked on on Patreon right here. So that is the Typhus Corrosion special right there. We glued them all back together. He's chilling now, and now we can start banging out some details. So I'm going to let you guys decide where we want to start on. Do we want to start figuring out how to do this fire? Or do we want to start painting his gut? That's, you know, that's basically where we're at. Do we want to start bottom up or top down? So I'm going to put up a little straw poll real quick, let you guys decide how we're going to bang it out, because there are two totally different things and they do that require me to start in two totally different ways. So we're going to do a straw poll as usual. Big bonnet or something. Okay, I got the link right here, guys. Cosmic Cubicle. What's up, brother? One of my favorite people right there. We also changed that a bit, guys. We put the uh, alerts in the billboard box above us and lowered the volume a little bit. So let me know if you guys like that more or less or if you like it being super loud. Um, I'm totally up to your guys's. I'm down to do whatever you guys want. Thank you, Cosmic Cubicle. Appreciate it. Today is a 666 day, though. Don't forget. Looks like we have 13 votes in, and it's 69% for top down. So starting on flame. Uh, it's... Losing a little bit of ground right now. Here's that link again in case anybody missed it to get a voting. We're voting on starting from the top down or the bottom up. AKA we're gonna work that we're gonna try to start working the flame in, detailing all this crazy stuff, or we're gonna start working with the guts up. That's a rat. I'm letting you guys vote right now. One of them is... They're to two totally different color palettes, and, and one of them has metallic involved, so that's what I'm letting you guys decide. That's what I, that's how I felt about it, too, Cosmic Cubicle. I think that was a holdover from when we first started. One second, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to do one last refresh on the vault, on the poll, see where we're at. Yep, top down. Got it. That's where we're at. Okay. Let's get this party started. And, of course, like I said, guys, today's the last day of June for Yo Dogs. It'll reset next month, tomorrow. So 
today is the day. All right? We got plenty of quantities in there. Make sure to redeem by the end of the show, and we'll be doing the mega gift bag raffle at the end of the show. Jack Club's painting, and we're going to take pre-sale all next month. And then we'll fulfill orders in August. So you can order them now. And if you feel like your address is going to train change, just contact me. It's not that big of a deal. I'm, I pretty much know all you guys. So it's not like some crazy faceless corporation that can't handle an address change. I have the ability. Okay, so we're going to start figuring this out. I have essentially decided that this flame is going to be flame. Like, absolutely 100%, I want it to be fire. Okay? I don't want it to be some warp energy or anything. I've decided I totally want to embrace the look of flame. <laughs> Player J, troll, 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 troll. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is, I'm, oh god, that sucked. <laughs> it does. One second, guys. Where is my super glue? I can't wait to see it, uh, Airman's Wrath. Damn. I just straight um, man gripped this brush and totally jacked it up. <laughs> but I feel like I can I can work through it. So here's what I want to do. I want to come. We got to basically get these metals looking a little better before we go too far. And so. So basically, I want to get the metal kind of detailed. Then I want to cut the flame in and the skulls in. But I don't know if I'm even going to worry about a dry brush. So I think we could just start working the skulls right now. So we're going to pull out weathered wood. Because weathered wood, I'm going to use it for two in two places. I'm going to use it to base the flame to give it a brighter color. And I'm going to use it to paint those skulls at the same time. Because I'm going to get that bright yellow toward the toward the base. So this is just going to be like being efficient mode right now. Oh, let me, pull, let me pull out the ancient Chinese tablet. I did not have it engaged. Switch over to Twitch. There we go. If, uh, on, let's move some paints out of the way. We got to use our ancient Chinese tablet stand. Uh, Clip Pot, it's the same exact thing. I'm going to do a, a raffle on DeepBot that's going to take 1,500 Yo Dogs to buy into. Literally the same way. Except, there's, so the only difference is, is there's, no, there's no like add to cart feature like Revlo had, which I really do miss. But it's going to be basically the same. At the end of the show, I'm going to pull it up. Uh, Killing Time Painting, for the, I'm glad you asked. For the base on this Contagion Lord, we're actually going to use a lava base, but we're going to paint the lava with the greens. We're going to have that green glow. All right, let's get a glove on. Let's get this party started. All right, so like I said, we're gonna take this weathered wood and we're gonna start by just actually basing the flame in it and cutting in around some of this metallic. We got, and we're watering it down a little bit, but not too much. And the reason I'm using weathered wood, like I said, is I want a brighter base to begin building the flame effects in off of. So right now I am just framing it 
so I can see exactly where the flame goes. I'm also going to paint these skulls at the same time, like I said, just being efficient, being busy in the beast lab. And see, there's some fire that comes out of this one's eye. <laughs> Warlander. And we're just going to clean it up. Get any of the overspray removed, any of the metallic that might have gotten on it. Really gives us a nice, easy line to see. Same thing right here. Using the bigger brush for this part and then I'll switch to the smaller brush here in a second. And we haven't, we're not even, we haven't washed anything yet. All these metals are just placeholders right now. We haven't done any of the final details. He's just blocked in for the most part. We have to paint like all sorts of details on his hand still. We got plenty of work to do on this guy. How do I end up cleaning the hole in the cloak? Uh, this one right here, I just used an exacto knife and punched a hole in it. <laughs> As Airman's Wrath. Okay. Oh, God, sorry. My hand is totally in the way. We're just, cut, we're just framing that in. Same thing right here. Placeholders built in. And it looks like these ones have like little demon faces on them, so they're different colors. JDA59, I'm glad you enjoyed the Marvel video out on YouTube right now. Okay, let's think about these little monster faces up here. One of them is a Nurgling, so we're gonna you'll pull out the green for that. Shirt pre-ordered, Hannah. Thank you, thank you. So we're gonna pull out a little bit of that trader or uh, trader green and necrotite green we've been using. And we're just gonna block in this little demon face. Execute a little contrast there. I don't even, I can't, I'm not sure even what I'm looking at yet, so <clears throat> that's why I'm just blocking them in right now. The wash will tell the story. So, two little angry demon faces in this. Oh, we didn't get the lower jaw of the skeleton? <clears throat> This right here, this is a tiny little, this is one of our, uh, this is an 18 zero right here. It's very tiny. Boom. It's 
Let's flip it around. Let's figure out what's going on with these uh, little nurgling faces. I want to say... Now I can see what I'm looking at a little bit more here. So... I can see the flame erupting from this, like, incense container, almost. That's a lot of detail. Interesting creative path they went off of these Lord of the Contagion models. And I want to say that it's probably going to be burning a bit in these holes. So I'm going to put a little bit of the weathered wood in these holes real quick. So when I bring when I bring the yellow in, it's going to look tight. Oh, and there's flame out here I missed. See, I wasn't sure if this was flame or if this was a tongue. But there we go. Getting the, getting the story in the full picture now. Pirate Nurgle. Man, instead of a man cab. No doubt. Yo, if you guys can do me a favor and share the stream out, guys, on this Friday, help me out. Hit that share button. Crafton, welcome to the show, brother. Uh, this is this is the last show of this month, which means this is your last chance to earn any Yo Dogs, get down on any of these prizes. If you're new to the show, you can see we have reward commands above the show up there. Right here. These are our commands that help you figure out what you want. Ex information is huge, so exclamation point info. Nate Hawk, I love it. I love this GW, just all the details on a model look. Makes me super happy. Okay, let's take a little bit of this weathered wood. Get these horns. Let's get some of these details in on these demon faces real quick. So we are going to bring a wash into it. So we're just blocking it in. Teeth. That's good enough. Let's do a second pass on this skeleton. Real quick. A thin coat. Okay, so that's a good placeholder color. Because we, like I said, we're going to make it. It's going to be flame. It's going to be dope. Dope, 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 dope. Since I do have a little weathered wood on my brush, I can actually take some. Begin highlighting his arm a little bit because we never did this. Crafting. I hear that, brother. Welcome to the show, man. Okay, we're thinning down some of this weathered wood. Into a bit of a glaze. Adding some highlights in here. Since it's on the brush. While we're letting that dry, we can stay busy. Because this is the highlight color we used. I 
We're just reaching in and grabbing a couple of these hard edge lines. A little bit of that got away with us, but I'll repair that with some wash. It's hard to get the angles on this guy. He's so busy. There we go. Trace some of these edges. These are these are the easy ones right here. So I went and says I hate edge highlighting sometimes with the fury of the fury of a thousand suns. <laughs> uh, Chedada, we have a full blown video on this armor. It's on Patreon right now, and next week it'll be on YouTube. Full blown studio tutorial. And those are different than these. Our live tutorial is different. The studio videos are very sh are much shorter and very concise. I'm just eyeballing this. Fingers. Some knuckle highlights. Anywhere we see a sharp crease, we're gonna or a nice straight line, we're gonna add a quick little highlight. And then we might be ready to start adding some yellows. I don't know. Couple of quick lines. Crafting. Appreciate it, man. go couple quick edge highlights back here all right let's pull out a little wash Get a little. Um, I think we use what flesh wash, brown and black. Was that the, was that the trick? <laughs> the real ash man, awesome brother. We're just putting a little flesh wash, a little mild brown, and a little dark tone.
Also, big news, guys. We have um, for next month or this month if we want. I guess this month. I have talked to Secret Web Miniatures. And I have a box full of Secret Web Miniature washes. And these are the formula. That's Les Bursley's formula that Justin bought from Secret Weapon. So I have enough soft body blacks, which is secretly one of the best washes in the game, available for all the gift bags this month. So we're just stirring this up a little bit. And I'm going to use that to help draw a couple of lines here. We're going to get some acrylic medium out on the table. So here's a little acrylic medium mixed in with our wash right here in my glove. And I'm going to use this to sneak in right here. And I'm going to darken that line right there I'm gonna pu pull some of this wash directly into some of these holes right here focusing on specific areas versus his whole body like we did when we washed him initially Just darkening some of these 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 uh, recesses Bring a little bit of that darkness inward right there. Focusing right here on this crater in his arm. And even between the fingers to contrast the highlights we put on the knuckles. Not too shabby. While we're letting that dry, let's pull out that uh, those that green color combo real quick that we're using. We're using Trader Green and Ecrotite Green. And let's base this fly on his hand. Uh. Loaded up my brush water by accident. Sponged it off. Yeah, but if you guys never used the old secret weapon wash line, it's an amazing formula by, Le uh, and like I said, Les. If you guys ever seen his old YouTube videos, it's his formula. And Secret Weapon Miniature sells it. And Soft Body Black is one of the best. Get that fly. You know, I'm wondering if I should paint the bands on this. I wonder if. Up, oh, Studio 77 painting. Thank you for the sub, brother. Appreciate that, homie. The hype is real. Crafting another one. Thank you, brother. Keeping that hype train alive, brother. Oh, Kolaris, when you say acrylic medium, is that like flow aid? I'm just talking like basic art store acrylic medium. I feel like this whole thing is this. It's like the band. It's the trim. I'm making it all green. Right there. I'll let that do its thug life. Let that seal up for a second. Then we can come back to this flame.
Yeah, Clipbot, that's a great one too. The Fallout. All right, that's a good solid start right there to that green. We're good up here. I think we can start introducing some washers up to the t up top. So that same wash we just made. Let's get it on the metal. We're just dabbing it on, letting it flow where it flow. And we'll let it get on the greens too, just subtly. Gotta paint that tongue still. It's okay if it gets on the flame a little bit. There we go. Giving a little bit of definition to this bronze. That we use this is a secret. That's the secret weapon, uh, brass, right there. What is it called? God, I can't remember. Let it flow into all the recesses. Let it shade the metal. Draw attention to the the nuts and the bolts. Black Zodiac, thank you, brother. Legendary status. Feeling that. Since I'm here, let's get this, let's get all the, the gold stuff done real quick. So we come back and highlight those later. This wash is a little weak for the metal. I need more black in it. Turn the light up a little bit. Watching marble is secretly easy by player J. All right, let's, uh, since we're doing it, let's get the black tone out and just black up this wash. So we can attack some of this, this chain mail. Get it real dark and then we can come in with a very light highlight over it once we're done but uh, for the contrast of the armor I don't want this metal to be very bright and we'll probably introduce some rust into it as well if I know me if I know me it's gonna be rusty but mainly dark to give us a really good border between the white armors to really break it up get that contrast flow there we go. Almost black. Slight metallic finish to it still. <laughs> and even on his horn, which we did earlier with a little green tone to it, but we're going to just go over that. Hannah for the tiny dog fun. I really appreciate that, Hannah. That's directly what it's going to it. Absolutely. Big shout out. Much love. Tiny Dog is at the vet right now. Overnight. 
Definitely, Monet is in tears. I heard her crying in the bathroom five minutes ago. Mm. Don't tell her I said that shit. Airman's Wrath, what washes would you suggest people buy? You did a vid on the paint choice. I mean, honestly, like, it's army painters hard to, to fight. Like, army painters have got an amazing wash game. They sell something called the Quick Shade Mixing Medium, which is essentially a medium that is like acrylic medium that is designed for their line. They are very robust, very formulated. I love them. And I also love the Secret Weapon miniature ones. But some of the Secret Weapon miniature colors aren't as good as the army painter ones, but soft body black... There's a few like standouts like sewer water, soft body black, heavy body black. Like these are, I've used these in the past and just like love the shit out of them. Okay, let's get see if we can get this, all this metal washed at least to a little bit before we come in and do some highlighting here. Okay, we're gonna switch to a little brush so we don't fuck up. Right here. Let us settle in the the links in the chain mount. But if you're on Secret Weapons website making a big order, you can't go wrong by also adding some soft body black to it. I used to use it all the time, but then um, Army Painter came in and sponsored us for a month and sent me all their paints. So I've been just cracking out on Army Painter washes. Fell in love with them. But I will show I will be diff definitely doing a video on soft body black, don't worry. I would have used it on this, but I already started with these these washes, and so they are a little different, so I don't want inconsistencies. Alright, so we got the washes on our wash game is on lock. Forgot I gotta paint that little pox on his other shoulder. Let's see if we can get some of the let's see if we can sneak around and get some of the brown out of this container. And highlight and get some of this to help highlight some of this green by bordering it, framing it out with the wash. There we go. There's a little spot on his knuckle I noticed right here. I'm gonna try to fix it with the uh, weathered wood. Oh, it looks like it's actually one of his knuckles missing. Ty winning. Tiny dog fund. I will stay squanchy, brother. Appreciate it. That absolutely will go to it's going in. It's literally going into the tiny dog fund automatically. I promise. Zombie, appreciate it, homie. Doing the best we can on a Friday. Psychotic Jester. No. Yo Dogs reset tomorrow. They actually won't reset until uh, I go live again next month. So that, I, I had a little disaster here. Uh, some of this weathered wood got away from me. But I'm trying to, there's like a little flake of wash that got away from me right here and so I just try to cover it up we'll let that dry and then we'll come back in and, and tighten it up so we're letting all this dry and we're gonna have to cut some yellows in here in a second so what I'm gonna do is I'm trying I'm, I want to I want to lay the groundwork for the yellow before we do a show and tell session so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out some Uriel yellows GW and I want to just get oh god I want to get some of the uh base work of the flame done real quick. So I'm going to pull some of this out. Gonna thin it out just a little bit. And we're going to just lightly begin yellowing up this weathered wood we laid down. Thin coat. The reason I pulled my glove off is I got a streaky yellow across it in a bad place that 
it's easy to forget and then you end up dragging the yellow onto the model. So this is very thinned down. And you see how much stick we're getting because we use weathered wood as a base. And thin down Uriel yellow is just sticking to it and staying bright. And the reason I'm going with yellow, it's very similar to the uh, lava. We're trying to get to that brightest point first, and then we're going to go to our midtones. Liz, we literally just tuned in. What did we miss? What is wrong with the tiny dog? <laughs> um, we had to rush into the vet uh, just before the show started. She, she was sick as fuck. And uh, obviously very stressful, uh, obviously for both of us, but Bonet is very very protective of Saren, so she is in a, she's a wreck right now. Um, I had to Uber away from the vet to get back to here. Um, and she handled that, but they're holding her overnight to do it to, uh, for, for all the tests and stuff to clear, and they said, I mean, like, they said something like her red blood cells are all fucked up. She's, like, basically dehydrated. Probably bacterial, because I talked to my neighbor, and she said her dog was kind of feeling sick, and I was like, uh oh, our dog's probably got something together. You know, that combined, like, so obviously the stress of, like, your dog, which you love, being sick, and the stress of, like, how, and, you know, not being political, I think, uh, medicine in our country is a business model. And so, obviously, it's like, bring the dog in, it's an emergency, and five seconds later, it's like, here's all the money you have to give us before we begin doing anything. And it's like, look, I'm going to give you this money. Like, oh, that wasn't on, even on the table, right? I wasn't not going to squelch on this. The fact that that was, like... You hit me with that before you even begun to save my dog's life. That's cut. So that on top of the fact that she is sick caused a lot of stress today. Oh yeah, guys, we do have promotions today. I'm glad people are using it. Let me show the pointer. So we have a new layout. So promotional commands are down here. We have a Gamer's Grass promotion for 24 hours, 10% off on Gamer's Grass. Of course, it is a Mark of the Beast day. The shirts are up for pre-sale. And of course, Top Donator always gets to roll them dice. Thank you, Minnesota Man Kev. Thank you, Liz. No, Warboy. Literally, I thought it was a scam. But I'm literally buying into it now. No worries, uh, Magical Ma Megan. I mean, don't get it twisted. I would have canceled the fuck out of this show if Bonet wasn't home. Like, absolutely. Right? Like, <laughs> no doubt. But... We're competent individuals, whereas both of us, and we were able to, and I can still do my job. But, I mean, my dog's health would absolutely trump all my fucking worldly responsibilities, man. Like, I'm that kind of person who's like, don't be a pet owner if you can't take care of a pet, if you can't provide that quality of life. Or, you know what I'm saying? All right. So we, we dropped that yellow off. And now we're going to let that yellow seal up, and then we're going to start working that flame in. Okay, guys? So let's let this dry. Let me put it down for one second, and then let's let's talk about it. Jack Club's painting? Oh, yeah. This will be a top D for sure. All the stuff I pay for you guys is top D, man. I mean, 99%. So real quick, let's take a look at uh, B-Hole Berry. B-Hole Berry got some gloss. Got some gloss wash since last show. So I glossed his tentacles and his claw hand and a slight gloss on the lava. Very slight. So here, that was yesterday, or sorry, that was Tuesday's tutorial was we did the lava on his base. And I think he came out amazing, bro. Like this is definitely one of my favorite looking models in a while. So Beho Berry is done. We're calling him done. Sick lava base. This will also be top D giveaway. Beho Berry on deck. Oh, Jack of Clubs, no doubt, man. 
fucking zombie. Thanks, brother. Blaze Zodiac. Uh, Black Zodiac. I play 40K mainly. I've played only a couple games of AOS. 40K is my shit. Uh, I have an army. Uh, chaos for life. But uh, we are... We do instructional videos here, so what we like to do is paint some cool shit, let you guys kind of vote on the colors a lot of times. We do weekly studio tutorials on Patreon and on YouTube, and we do two live ones here. Well, now, obviously, there's got to be a catch, right? There's got to be a way to generate revenue. That's how business works. So part of it is we give away, on top D-Days, some of the shit we work on. That's pretty out in the open it's never been it's never been hidden <laughs> so that's why we paint a lot of cool ass models a lot of new relevant stuff we uh we talk it out we figure out how we're going to achieve some of these effects and then we give it away i feel you zombie thank you tie in no i for real like i talked to like that's you tie in that's a serious statement like you know, like, like our grandparents were like literally feeding like chocolate and shit to their dogs. And they're like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, look, when you were my age, your dogs lived seven years. My dogs have lived 25 years. Like this is a huge difference between generations. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. BW Terrain Forge. What's up, pimp? Mark of the Beast donation. First Mark of the Beast donation of the day. Thank you, brother. I'm about to give you your bonus right now. Remember all Mark of the Beast donations on Fridays give you bonus yo dogs. There you go, brother. Um, yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel you, Minnesota man, Cap. Okay, so Behold Berry's looking good. So here's a real before we go on to a show and tell session. Let's we, there's something real important we have yet to discuss. We haven't named this con, this Lord of Contagion. He he's nameless. That's kind of a that's kind of a problem here. Like we don't. We don't really roll that way. So we need to we need to name this guy. Obviously, we're fans of alliteration around here. But we're not married to it. So definitely gonna field some uh suggestions for a name. Obviously, we did the cape together uh last week. We did this on Patreon. The the axe, we did the white on Patreon, but we did all the greens here. And we're going to do the flame here. So we, you guys are as invested in him as, as the YouTube guys. Captain Conjunct Conjunctivist. That's too lame. Sorry, flip it for real. We need something better. Necrotic Ned. Come on, you got, come on man. Necrotic Ned is pretty tight. Nasty No Nonsense Ned. Oh my god, quad alliteration. Gonorrhea Gary Hannah is in the lead. <laughs> let me put it this way. I'm going to sort. Let me write these down because we're definitely going to do a straw poll. Winner gets bonus yo dogs. That's how we're doing this. That's exactly what we're going to do here. That is happening. I'm so glad that this began. Okay. Necrotic Ned by Player J. I'm going to put that in the poll. Um, which other one did I really like? I liked Gonorrhea Gary from Hannah. Come on, guys. Get your submissions in right now for this draw poll. Was it Nasty No Nonsense? Where is he? By Minnesota Man Kev. Let's get at least one more. Lord Drippy. Oh, that's a good one, too. I'm going to put Lord Drippy in there. You guys ever seen Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Is that Refacto? Was that Richter Scale? Yo, Richter Scale, where you been, my man? Yo, long time no see, homie. Um, one more. Give me one more. 
I'm only gonna only ones that strike me as amazing at the moment. Herpet's hat is the G. <laughs> Hepatitis the G. Is that what you're saying? Hepatitis the G? Pink Eye Pete. That's the last one we're going to put in there. I like that. You can see where my humor lays. All right. Oh, we got some hype. McDoug is dipping sauce. Szechuan sauce, Kenny. That's what's going to take us all the way to the end. Nine more seasons, Kenny. <laughs> oh, war boy. I love you, homie. All right, let me get this straw poll out. Let me give you your, your yo dogs. Okay, we got a straw poll going right now. Guys, share the link so everyone new in it gets in on it. So anyone who comes in is like, what's this link? Make sure they know. And of course, big shout out to my man, Warboy. Rick and Morty all day. Bonus Yo Dogs real quick on this Mark of the Beast donation. And whichever name wins the straw poll, literally 100 Yo Dogs. That's how serious we are about names. Okay, guys, real quick while that's going down, uh, let's actually finish that so we don't get super confused with links. So we're going to do a show and tell session. Exclamation point show. Start getting your submissions up there. I have no idea where we are. I forgot to check before the show because I was flustered. You guys are going to have to help me. And while you guys are doing that, real quick, new layout. Every show, guys, anyone who's new here doesn't know this, the top donator every show gets to roll this dice. We've got a 12-piece brush set from the Artisan Shop. We've got Privateer Press gift bag, Elric's Hobbies gift bag. We've got two solo miniatures from uh, the Triumvirate and, of course, 666 Yo Dogs all day, every day. Today's the last day of the month. Spend those Yo Dogs before you spend those Yo Dogs today, guys. Today, we got full-blown 8th edition swag, everything. Um, we are sold out of the intro and the gift bag, guys. We sold out last episode. We actually went over our normal numbers, so I had to source extras. So if you have 1,500 Yo Dogs with nothing to spend them on, don't worry. We do the mega raffle at the end of the show. It is 1,500 Yo Dogs. It's the epic gift bag. Hannah, you are entitled to do so. Thank you, Justice McFly. That's 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 good intel. All right, let's take a look at the results real quick. Yep, looks like Hannah is crushing it. Oh. So, Hannah, if you want to donate your Yo Dogs, whisper to me the person, and I will send it to them, or however you want to handle it. If you want to do a raffle, whatever, I don't care. And let's get to the whip gallery. Oh, actually, I didn't refresh it. Oh, I did this right. There we go. I'm going to know exactly who's first. Here we go. Old clunky making us all look awful at painting is the first person. Here we go. Whip gallery right here now. Excavation point show. Get your uploads. This is my man, old clunky Raven guard captain. This guy <clears throat> just puts out amazing quality product nonstop. I love old Clunky's work. Drago, uh, I do get a little bit of a curl in some of the Dardis and Shop brushes. I have total, I mitigated 90% of it with my brush my brush conditioner, my brush soap I use, after every use. And I did talk to them about it, but I did state that for the price, it's not enough of an issue to make me mad because I actually really think that they're a solid grouping of base brushes far superior to GW's and the price is super right
Yeah, and Iron Headed brought up a good point. Hannah, if you want me to, I can roll those Yodogs over to you for next month if you feel like that's also an option that you want to take. So we have settled on Gonorrhea Gary by Hannah. That is the name of our Nurgle Lord of Contagion. Uh, BW to Rainforge in the hizzy. Mark of the Beast donation, homie. Shut the f up about Moon Men. Thank you for the donation. Much, much love, much hype. Let me give you your bonus. There you go, brother. Great job, O Clunky. O Clunky is on deck. Just being amazing. Here we go. Desert Wolf Captain. O Clunky just making us all look bad. Drago, that's interesting. Can you send me a picture of that? Because they're actually constantly asking me for feedback. They actually are pretty new to the paintbrush game. And they are they are trying to create good brushes. You know, and so I have only had a little bit of issues with them. But like I said, they're, they're not price gouging me. So I haven't, like, I told them straight up. And like when I talked to them on the phone, I was like, a little bit of curling. A little bit of an issue here. Um, I mitigated a lot of it. But as long as your price range stays where it's at, I'm not mad about this. Uh, Hannah, once you figure out what you want to do, you need to. And his name is John C. Zombie, thank you, brother. Can't see me. Big shout out to Zombie, appreciate it. Hannah. Yeah, yeah. If you, Hannah, whisper me when you know what you want to do with them, and I'll and I'll make it happen. Oh, clunky, you're too good at painting. Ah, oh, God, it's so good. I love your style. Haven't seen you for a couple weeks. <clears throat> Super glad that you were you, you did some work. You've been working on them Primus Marines in that in, in the interim. Airman Wrath, a better attempt at shading detail with the airbrush. Absolutely, brother. You did some great shades here. Um, I, I see a little bit of rough speckling, which co comes with the territory if you're new to airbrushing. That's why you see me work so thin <clears throat> with so much flow improver. And you also see me, I never go from like the dark Prussian blue directly to the blue green. There's always going to be a mid-tone, which will be those two colors mixed 50-50. And that kind of eliminates the speckling because if you go bright too fast and too thick, you'll get speckles. And always keep the tip clean. But you have a really good, you're at a really good place here. A little bit of wash. I mean, I would basically wash this whole model with a thin down wash. Get in the cracks, give it a new shade, and blend some of those speckles out. Come back in with the paintbrush, edge highlight it. Call it a day, homie. Great work. Like I said, as a reminder, we do have a new layout here, guys. More, we, we It's been long in the making. And so all promotional commands for whatever is going on today are right here. So definitely familiarize yourself with them. The new t-shirt is up for pre-order right now. <clears throat> you can use these commands to figure that out. Mark of the Beast, Gamer's Grass, 10% discount. Good for 24 hours right now. Nakas, what's up, brother? Lords, didn't come out like I had hoped, but I'm satisfied. Jack of Clubs painting. Oh, I love the yellow and blue on the left guy right there. I think it's very unique. But you, fe yes, but Jack of Clubs, you did fall into the trap. You fell into the Nurgle trap. I've been painting Nurgle a long time. And so these look very good, very Nurgly. Nothing wrong with these models, bro. A whole army of Nurgle motherfuckers on this level would make me happy, you know? Uh, but the Nurgle trap is the lack of contrast because it's so easy to, to, to go so in the, hard in the paint with the Nurgle effects that it doesn't, um, 
there's not a lot of opportunities to generate contrast if you fall if, if you just keep going hard in the paint on those because greens are greens are greens right so even if you have a bright green and like a dull green it starts all kind of look it, you, you're you're losing contrast so you did a good job trying to pop some back out but with Nurgle, I found if you want your Nurgle models to look at that next level of pop, you have to really think outside the box, which is why I like the guy on the left more, because he has a, a, a tint to his armor that I can buy for Nurgle, and you've got some incredible contrast going off of it. I'd like to see a whole army of, of Death Guard with that guy with the with the Contagion Lord on the left color scheme. Yep, that yellow cape is on point. Absolutely love it, bro. And I even noticed that GW has been adding a lot more bright colors to their Death Guard colors uh, with these new 8th edition models than they had in previous um, box art. The last uh, grouping of miniatures that they had was very dull. Like, here's our greens, here's our washes, here's our dry brush, here's our bolters, right? Super easy, super easy to understand, but very low contrast. Soren, yeah, yeah, we don't. I'm not working at Orcs anymore. We actually gave them all away. Back to chaos. DB is dungeon painting. It ain't no party <laughs> like a D and D party. Nerd. My dungeon master Brad in the hizzy. I love him though, man. I love your nerd life. It's so clutch. And I'm going to start right now, guys, with no timer on it, the ticket raffle, so you guys can think about things like that during the show. So we're going to start a raffle right now for the mega gift bag. It's 1,500 Yodongs. No timer. We're going to start it right now. Instructions, it's exclamation point ticket space, the number of tickets you want. It's 1,500 Yodongs for your ticket. So that's going to be going during the rest of the show. I know some people were waiting on that. You do not have to be present to win. It's not how we do things. Great job here, Devious Dungeon Painting. V Bosch 55, all done. Great work on the skin tones, the skulls, solid clean lines, great contrast. I'm into this, bro. Uh, Terrain Forge, slow rolling his bonuses, which you're totally allowed to do. Appreciate it, brother. Allowed to work my system any way you want, brother. Big shout out, much love. Bonus yo dogs applied. And anybody just tuning in, and you don't have anywhere near enough yo dogs, and you and you're like, damn, it's a monthly reward contest. We are on the literal last day of the contest. If you watch my show all month, you will have 1,500 yo dogs. And we have tons of gift bags that you can buy on those, but they are limited. They sold out last stream. Thank you, Dealer of Death. New clutch overlay. We cleaned it up. We created a little bit more space on the left-hand side. Made things a little bit more easy to understand for new play for new people, I think.
We got our new Beats Lab logo, and we are planning on adding the Beats Lab logo to our new the the beaker to our new lineup of emotes once we get enough subscriber points. B Bosh, yeah, great job, man. I love the pants. Skin job, welcome to the show. Last day of the month. And if you're new and you don't know what the reward system is about, all you gotta do is type in exclamation point info. It'll give you all the information. I do have plans, guys, next month to introduce the shot glasses and the new dice bag. So we do have some stuff on the horizon. Great job here, V-Bosh. Ooh, Justice. These are amazing. The black Celestine. I love it. Love the purple uh, to pink power weapon effects. Great job here, man. And this ogre, yeah. It's going to replace the um, tack template spot. I think I'm going to do 2,000 Yodogs for two shot glasses. Is where we'll be at with them. Bec and also, because also I got to ship them boxes. It's, it's a headache. Great job. I love the classiness of these models. The clean, the cleanliness. Great job. Hey, our bonnet out there. Hope she's okay. She's definitely not doing so good. Tiny dog in the, in the, in the, in the vet's office overnight. This is our first overnight visit to a vet. Yeah, these are the conversions, the, the paint jobs. Great job here, Justice. I see I'm a million percent. That is better than a hundred percent. A million percent? A million percent. The real ass man. Thank you, brother. Ooh, yeah. Truly appreciate that, homie. Get your Mark of the Beast bonation, uh, donation bonus right now. Enjoy the bonus. There you go, homie. Yo, Ice Skater. Still working on River Wars. Almost finished. And then you're going to be working on a Warhammer? Yo, I can't wait. I mean, I can't wait to see what you do, and I love the River War stuff. Pothis UK got to take a pee break and go give her a hug. Yeah, no, I, I will, bro. Thank you for looking out for brother. <laughs> I will bio break out of here, and I will indeed give her a hug and a kiss. Family was in town all last week. Such a whirlwind around here for a week. Oh, is EJ in stream? Is my main man EJ in stream? The one and only? Sorry. Let me just turn my phone off because now Bonet's home. <laughs> Not off, but I'll turn to vibrate. Now that I'm not expecting any emergency calls. The legend. Great job right here, Ice Skater. Let's take a look right here. Wolf Sark, Void Raven. Ooh. I'm a sucker. I love it. Love the windows too, man. And don't forget, guys, I'm going to say it all episode long. Gamers is grass. Exclamation point, Gamers is grass. We'll gain you access to a link and a promo code. Good for 10% off Gamers grass website for 24 hours. If you're looking to stock up.
Wolfsark, use my Crimson Hunter tutorial for this and just switch the colors around? Well, you did a fucking great job, homie. Digging it. <clears throat> 49 ers Tweed, remember those wire trees? Oh, I do. Oh, my goodness, bro. These look amazing. The real ass man. He's he's getting in on that raffle. Appreciate it, brother. Much love, much hype. Here's the thing, guys. The mega raffle is beyond all the gifts. It has elements of every single one of our reward tiers, guys. It is a big deal. It's not some little ass. So the deal, since it's a raffle, you know, you're not guaranteed to get it. But it is beyond even our 5,000 Yo Dog uh, points. It's amazing. Anyone who's ever won one can attest to that as a testimonial. <laughs> yeah, 49ers Tweed. I'm sorry I ever questioned the tree. This tree came out balling, homie. This amazing scenic work here. Major Raj bonus here. We can begin the hype. How long you been here with us, bro? Major Raj bone, if he, he requires it. And we do indeed have a raffle going right now, guys. It's going to go on. It's going to be going on the whole, uh, the whole show. Exclamation point space ticket will get you in on it. It's 1,500 Yo Dogs. It is four. That huge ass gift bag I just mentioned. And I will tell you more about it as we get to the end of the show. Ray Silver, man. I feel you, bro. Welcome to the show. Love you, homie. Great job on this, 49er. Oh, look at this, 49er. Uh, production lining, some yellow right now. Heard that. It's the best way to get down to business right there. Staying busy in the Beats Lab. Yeah, there's some old lines on there. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't going to say anything, but damn. Shave those mold lines next time, 49er. <laughs> I can't give you shit on your trees anymore, but I will give you shit on the mold lines. I mean, one man's mold line is another man's bonus detail, if you really think about it. So, I mean, I'm not that worried about it. Techno Cat, thank you for the sub, brother. Thank you for becoming a legend, helping me with those emote points, the subscriber points. Real quick. Thank you guys for being so charitable today. In the midst of all this tiny dog emergency issues. I love you guys. You are. We are the same community. I really appreciate it. Cheers. All right, that's enough for now. I think we can get back to work. We can get back to airbrushing. Here he is, Gonorrhea Gary, as named by Hannah. And real quick, anybody new to the stream is wondering how things go. Here's the dice rolling game. If you look up top, the real Ashman is top donator. So whoever the top donator is at the end of any show gets to roll these dice for additional prizes. We got tons of them. I don't know why I clicked this scene. I'm just trying all the new scenes out. Thank you guys. We definitely did a lot of work on re and rebuilding our show to be a little bit more pro. All right. Okay, you know what time it is, right? Time to whip out the old airbrush. Moon man. Shut the f up about Moon Men. Oh, snap. 
Killing Time painting with a Mark of the Beast donation. I truly appreciate it, homie. Up to him. That's NS Ogre and Killing Time painting. Thank you, guys. Let me, uh, let me give you some bonuses. Killing Time painting, and of course, the legendary NS Ogre. There you go, guys. All right, I'm getting the airbrush compressor engaged. There we go. Engaged. Oh, yes. Zombie. I love you, brother. I truly appreciate it, man. Cheers, brother. Okay. So, we got the airbrush compressor locked in. Which means... You know what it means? You know what that means. Time to begin our ritual. Run a little bit of water through the airbrush right now, cleaning some of the solvent out, using the old ancient Chinese t-shirt technique to wipe out the pot. It's a beautiful day. Dealer of death. Gotta try out the new toys. That's how you get new toys. Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. The neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you, so let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might Shut as well say, would you be mine, could you be mine, won't you be my neighbor, won't you please, won't you please, please won't you I love be this song. my neighbor. His name is John C. Big shout out, Ray Silver, appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate it, guys. Tiny Dog Fund is real. I'm telling you. <laughs> Rick to Scale Studios. Big shout out. Ray Silver, my man. Uh, Blackwater Terrain Forge. My man, Bloodbeard. Zombie. Thank you, guys. Bottom of my heart. John Cena is my neighbor, Hannah. Skull of Crusher. Great song. Yeah, I feel you, brother. Thank you. All right. So let's see what we can't make happen. Let me take off my non-prescription shades real quick. Let's grab a little airbrush flow improver. And Rick Stale Studios, thank you for the sub, brother. Re-upping. Legendary status. Big shout out, homie. Alright. So right out the gate, we're gonna grab. Let's grab some hot orange. Or hold up. Yeah, we're gonna grab hot. Uh, now let's go with orange heat from Secret Up Miniatures. Uh, Matikasumo, I or uh, Maticus, I did. I almost used it. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I almost the garden, the the garden of your mind, uh, like auto tune remix with Mr. Rogers. It's fucking amazing. My man, um, Ca Captain Chaos. If you guys ever seen him online, he hunted down this this song for me to use on the show. I have to give credit where credit's due. Break the scale studios. You're almost at it for a year, bro. 
Next month is our... Ugh, that was almost a disaster. Next month is our year... Our celebratory one-year partnership. The, um... What is it? The, um... The one-year emote uh, subscriber badge will unlock next month, and you guys are not going to be disappointed. People are going to be super jealous of your subscriber badges. Okay, we'll just try to get this orange heat unlock. There we go. Wood of Van Asda. Would have had Asadunk. I really appreciate that, homie. Uh, Dumma, long time no see, brother. First off, congratulations. And second off, thank you. Hannah says, I got to duck out for a bit. Be an adult, get food. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you. Thank you for the positive energy. Okay, so here is our, our dude. So what we're going to do is, let me see if I can get the lights and the camera in a better position because it's about to get gangster in here. We're going to let it be yellow. Okay, so we're it's going to be yellow at the base, and it's going to eventually be black at the tip. So we're going to start introducing some of this orange with the airbrush. Very light. Very thin. We're using mostly air. This is air, 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 air. Paint, paint, paint. Paint, 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 paint. Paint, 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 paint. paint, 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 paint. Orange it up very subtly. And the orange heat from Secret Weapon is also thin by nature. But it's we're kind of glazing it in. Let's turn the light down just a little bit so it doesn't burn it out. So you can actually see it a little bit easier. Air, 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 air. There we go. Major Ratchbone requires hype, guys. This is paint, 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 paint. Paint, 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 air, 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 Want we'll to be very bright and very realistic. It's a little bit oranger in real life. Let me see if I can fuck with the warmth real quick to get it, get that warmth to show. Okay, I warmed it up a little bit. There we go. Now we're back to air, 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 paint, 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 paint. Air, 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 paint, 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 air, 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 paint, 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 paint. Nice transition right there. And we're just holding this thing at the right angle so we don't get any of this orange on him. And if it ever is a question, you can use your hand with your glove to block off like the cape right here. Sidlick says, you do great with the song next to Rick when the head things are coming. Oh, you mean, <laughs> you mean if we had to make a quick ass getting swifty with it beat to keep us alive? Show me what you got. Okay, we're just fortifying some of this orange it's very thin so that's why we're taking so long on this and you can see this is how we eliminate speckles 
We're not rushing anything. We're being thin, glazy. Nice flame effect. Digging that. <laughs> the Gens. We're not having a seizure. Paint, 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 air paint, paint. <laughs> Someone call 911. <laughs> okay, we're just coming on with air. We're trying to do, we're doing our best to completely undo the yellow in about the mid tone, the mid range of the, like halfway through it. We don't want any yellow. So there we go. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm feeling that. I'm going to take the brush, the pot, and I'm going to dump this orange out. And we're going to start working reds. So I want to use, this is Vallejo Air Red. This is like the reddest red. Straight red. Clip pot. It's hard to speckle with the new with the heats from Secret Weapon because they are very thin. Uh, share with the class, D packs. Minnesota man, Kev. He says was washing my beehole berry. Is that the first airbrush layer over the yellow? Yes. A very thin coat of an already very thin paint. We're used orange heat. Secret weapon. It's that new heat. But now we're going to start introducing the red, which is straight red from Vallejo. It's an air paint, so it is already also thin. Gangster gumbo. Let's make sure we're getting the flow. And this is also thin, but we're also going to keep the tip clean. And this is where it's going to start really just getting HD. There, look at that. See how much stick we're getting with that? Making sure that a healthy amount of orange is still visible. And we're even going to come back to the orange in a second. There we go. Pretty solid. Set them down. Two pa uh, two pads says if an Iwata clips. Oh, beef. Oh, here we go. Can't see me. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you for that hype. And uh, Boogeyman1, thank you for the subscription, brother. Thank you for becoming a legend. Um, would you get a revolution and be happy with it? No, I, I wouldn't. I would not be. You can, um, But Slow Fuse Gaming, who was coming on after us, Jason, he's been using the Neo, the pistol grip of Neo, and he says it's actually really high quality for my Wada. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Generosity means a lot. 
So we're gonna have a, only we're gonna have much less. I'm sorry, the light's so dark. It's the only way we can see these reds and these oranges. We're gonna come back to the orange heat, and we're gonna smooth out the transition a little bit because. Have you paid your dues, Jack? Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. Congratulations to BW Terrain Forge for getting the Tier 5 Swag Crate. Now with 8th edition, 8th edition minis. DB's Dungeon Painting. What is the purpose of black it, of backing the needle in and out? So that it's I'm, I'm like priming the pump. When the needle's not in there, the paint flows rapidly. So see how fast all that just shot out? <clears throat> like it, it gets it gets to the the end result of mixing it in the pot faster. Is why. And that's why you always see my needles exposed because you need it also helps you clear clogs if anything weird is happening um I, you want access to your needle and that's why i love the eclipse because the brush is so basic fundamentals of, of airbrushing that you can fuck with it i don't like all that like set it preset the the needle depth i don't like that shit. i want to be able to fuck with it as i go all right so we have a much thicker orange heat and we're going to go over the red because orange it looks different when you go over the red than when the red goes over the orange. So this is going to brighten up the, the orange a little bit and help us create a fun transition. There we go. And this also, if you ever did see any speckling, this is how you fix it. There we go. Okay, now we're done. It was a wasteful amount of paint. We're going to introduce a little black to the tips, and then the rest of it's going to be paint brushing. Low improver. Where is my Vallejo Air Black? It's one of my favorite colors of all time. See, this is what happens when I put shit away. I found it. Green stuff. That's what I like about the Badger. No extra bells and whistles. Solid design. The thing I don't like about the Patriot is that it doesn't have this type, this, this coupling on the top. So you have to kind of pinch it to to block it off. And also, the Badger is uh, is of less quality than the Eclipse. I used to use a, a 105 for years before I even got into miniatures. And I noticed that the second I picked up my first Eclipse, I was like, these aren't even in the same league. Alright, see, and right now I have a bit of a clog right here. So I'm rapidly backing the needle out to clear it. Because I didn't actually clean the airbrush today. So, I was lazy. But the Patriot was my go-to for graphic design for a long time. Okay. We have some black that we're going to just subtly attach to the tips. Okay, I want it to be thinner. I already can see some speckling, so I added a little water to the pot. The uh, black hat. Anytime you go with such an extreme transition, uh, you speckling is a risk. So thinning the paint out is usually the solution. There we go. Very light trigger work. And that nice black sooty smoke at the end of the tail of flame.
Oh, they have a redesigned version of it, green stuff? I didn't know that. Dumma? No, I have not seen that. Ty winning, yes. It is a similar workup, but everything presents its own challenges, like lo location of the model. With Gilliman's sword, we can just leave it off, so we can do whatever we want. So, the exercise of this, like for this tutorial, was how we're going to paint these flames when they're already growing out of this guy. Making sure the tips are as black as we can make them. And then we're actually going to reintroduce the red to smooth out the transition. So there's our flame right there. And it's going to get brighter. Like we're going to bring it, we're going to brighten it up at the core. It's going to be very amazing. And we're going to love it. But right now it's it's in a holding pattern. We're going to clean the airbrush out just real quick. Run a little clean water through it. Get the black out. Fire is secretly easy, clip out. Green stuff. Green stuff says, yeah. Uh, oh, you bought a replacement, and then you, you realize that they had a new that, that they had a new design. I see. I think enough people complained about it. Having your needle exposed like that is is just not smart airbrush design. All right, let's get a little bit more flow improver in the pot. There's a little bit of that red. We're going to keep it real thin, stir it in. I'm going to thin it down with a little water, a little backflow, gangster gumbo. Let's prime the pump. There we go. So now we're going to blend the transition between the red and the black with more red. Same concept. The red's going to look different now. And it is going to clean up any speckling we got from the black. And it's going to be a very dark red where it infiltrates on the black. We're just doing air right now. And we're focusing on speckles that we see. There we go. And, it, and with fire, it is always a back and forth pro, a forth process. Fact. There's no way around it. I mean, unless you don't care how speckled your shit is. The Anarchist. Thank you, brother. All right, we're going to clean out the airbrush. And this is the last coat. We're going to go back to Orange Heat for the final airbrush pass. And then we're done with the airbrush on this flame. Shaking it up. Little orange heat right here. Stir it into the flow improver. There it is. Last little bit of orange attacking the the red with that orange we're just doing air right here a little after the paint air 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 paint 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 little paint right here There we go. That's where we want to be at right there. That's that's the thug life flame right there. We're going to let that seal up for a minute. We're going to do a show and tell session. And then we're going to detail out the...
the yellow parts to be even brighter and more glowy, so it intensifies the contrast. Remember, make the dark areas darker, but always make the bright areas brighter. Do both. Okay. We're going to set the airbrush down and our shot glass with simple green. You've got plenty of time, Clipot. Okay. Anybody just tuning in? Exclamation point show. Follow the links. Get your submissions uploaded so we can review everyone's work together here on the show. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. That's in one, two, three. We're back. All right, guys. Back from the old give Bonet a hug break. Let me just check on the raffle, guys. And also, let me put a link up there, exclamation point show, in case you guys don't know. Get your submissions in there. Let's talk about it. Let's get this party started. But let me say, let me say something real quick. Ooh, Lucky Jawa. What's up, bro? Thank you for the legendary status. Appreciate that, homie. <laughs> Killing time pain. And his name is John C. I really appreciate it, guys. <clears throat> I just wanted to say thank you. Um, it definitely wasn't my intention to hit people with a bunch of uh, like this is what's going on in my life uh, I'm spending a lot of money today give me money you know woes I was just trying to share with you guys what's going on in my life but the rallying call you guys helping out you know throwing money my way like that means a lot to me it doesn't mean like 
it's like, yo, I cover myself. I got credit cards, everything. I'm handling this, right? But the fact that this community is so strong that that would even happen blows my mind, especially in like 2017 where like people just don't give a fuck about shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just want to say thank you guys. It really means a lot. And cheers. Let's get back to it, guys. I want to see what you guys are working on. Back to that intense music file. And where did we leave off? Here we go. Uh, there's a no name on this. Someone needs to claim this. I don't know what these models are. They're super weird and super scary and terrifying, but someone needs to put their name on this. Claim it before I claim it for my own. Appreciate that, Killing Time, Ray Silver. Everybody. The Anarchist, do you just super glue the base on and then snap it off for rebasing? Yep, that's literally exactly what I do. I use a little bit of super glue and kicker because kicker makes super glue, uh, super glue brittle. <laughs> War boy. <laughs> Love you, man. Zombie, thank you, homie. Anybody, anybody willing to claim this model? Deadly Wookie. Is that who it is? Deadly Wookie. What are these? I don't even know what these are. Uh, Airman's Wrath. Tell me exactly what I'm looking for. The Anarchist. You know, Zip Kicker, uh, Super Glue Accelerator. A little spray bottle that makes super glue instantly cure. I use a little bit of a little bit of super glue in the base, a little bit of that when I'm doing mass projects, so I can snap them off later. Because I don't actually use the zip kickers or the accelerators when I'm actually building models, because they make they make super glue brittle. I don't I don't use them. We looked at that blue towel together, Airman's Wrath. We literally talked about it. Did you go to the bathroom? Is that what happened? Ray Silver, next level community to learn about airbrush tips. Instead, got a badass internet family. That's true, bro. I think we do. Mad resources now, man, together. Oh, Clunky, custom chapter primus. Ah, oh, Clunky, you son of a bitch. So good. <laughs> Killing time painting. It, uh, let me just show it off real quick. Let me just make this happen. Whoops. Mark of the Tiny Yo Dog. LT, thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Truly appreciate that, homie. Big shout out. Much love. So the raffle is ongoing right now. I'll put a timer up later when it matters, but right now it's 1,500 Yo Dogs buy-in. Exclamation point ticket space. Number of dogs you... Number of Yo Dogs you, uh, or tickets you want. So if you have... Less than 3,000 Yo Dogs, you can only buy one ticket. <clears throat> That's how it works. I'm sorry I didn't explain this mechanic. Um, we don't have Revlo anymore. <clears throat> Revlo was a lot easier. Nick P1, what's up, brother? Got your bonus, yo dogs. Strongly appreciate that, homie. I feel you, Airsman, Airman's Wrath. We'll go back to it in a second. What do I think about the prison shank primaris? I love it, Taiwan. I feel you killing time. Yeah, it's just how it works. So it's so basically we're able to do everything we used to do with Revlo. It's all streamlined. It's all it's actually better because it's not it's less cloud reliance. And it's all being stored on, I mean, it's on the cloud, but also on my computer's hard drives. So, of which I have many. I have like 
10 terabytes. So like, we're good. Not going anywhere. <laughs> so we have a more streamlined operation, honestly. I just feel, I, I don't like the fact that we lost the add to cart feature. So things I think are harder to track down, which is why I did all the graphics for exclamation point info. Good job here, old clunky. Oh, Clucky, final primaries for the GW shop. Damn, bro, you're just an animal, man. I hope they're paying you, bro. Like, you're just too good to be just slinging these, this, this level for fucking... Like, you're just, you're just cranking them out. Oh, Clucky, do you want to do a straw poll for what the name of your legion is going to be right here? And you have to stick to it, whatever they say. Oh, Clucky, killing it. As usual. Alright, so let's go back. So this is Old Clunky's custom chapter right here. So we're going to do... So I'm I have a few ways of doing this. So the, I think... So this is what I'll do. People do Old do at old clunky okay with your idea and then he's gonna pick like three or four of them okay and then he's gonna say at next level painting with those and we'll do a straw poll Ray Osabi Ray Osabi likes it raw first off thank you brother I don't recognize the name welcome to the show man on this you got plenty of Yodogs from that and thank you for your support, man. Uh, you are also, looks like, probably the top D because you triggered the Like It Raw GIF, which means you're probably going to win a Dice Roll at the end of the stream. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the show, you can check your Yodogs at any time. we got a bunch of links, a bunch of commands. Familiarize yourself. I hope you can win something cool today, man. And then, uh, old Clunky, once you figure out like what three or four you like, uh, then we'll put them in the straw poll. The entire Mac, trying to figure out what I want to do with the base. Well, I hear Marble works pretty good, and we have a we have a tutorial that just hit YouTube today. Marble secretly easy. How you like me now? Don't fuck the style. Do cliff well. Do you want to get the teeth back the fuck out? Want to get on it like that? Well then, shout. Ninja Pete, another name I don't recognize. Welcome to the show, brother. Hope you guys um you guys are coming in on the last day of the month of the reward contest. But <laughs> next month's gonna be a whole new a whole new month with all new swag. We're gonna have shot glasses, uh, dice bags. It's gonna get so crazy, man. Welcome to the show, homie. Great job. I, I mean, I would go with marble, bro. Marble's not even hard. You could just paint the marble right over that base. It doesn't even matter. Good job, homie. Uh, the pervy monk first couple attempts at airbrushing a full mini semi disappointed with the results but practice makes perfect um what are you disappointed in man these look great what's wrong you get some great i mean that that guy the guy okay first off infinity is hard uh but the guy in the end the far right that panosha like combat combatant or whatever he is i don't know what he's called you got some great transitions there homie Dealer of Death. Am I going to be doing a show on the 4th? Is the 4th one of our stream days Tuesday? Uh, probably nothing's going to stop me. Ray Yosabi says you've been, you've been around, been following the tutorials for a while now. Thanks for all the help. Good luck with your pup. Thank you, man. Makes me happy to hear. Long, uh, long time listener, first time caller. Waiting in the wash to dry now. Jack of Clubs. See that Plague Marine right there? I love him. This color scheme is dope. 
This is what I'm talking about, Wyatt Circa. The pervy monk, it rarely does. Bald Beaver Fever. Did you lose your Yodogs because Revlo is gone? No, you lost your, your Yodogs because it resets every month. It's a monthly reward contest. So you have like basically 30 days to gain Yodogs and spend them while supplies last, and then it resets on the following month. To clear that up, exclamation point info lays it all out, brother. Skin job. Which gamer grass colors do you like the most? I like the dry grass colors. Uh, let's see if I can show you. These colors down here, these are my favorites. The, the tan grass. Ray Silver, challenge rifts. Challenge rifts are you playing, like so let's say somebody achieves something amazing on the leaderboard. You can play as that dude's character with all his gear in the in the mirror of the rift that he got his high score on, on Diablo, and you can play exactly that same saved file to see if you can beat his score with his gear. <clears throat> Billion pictures. Here we go. My man D packs Blood Raven Tactical Marine finished. Yo, I love Blood Raven colors. Ray Silver, that's awesome. <laughs> Blood Ravens are my favorite. Whenever I used to do a Spiky Con when we well, back in the day before we shut that all down, we used to do a uh, live painting class, like thirteen people with airbrushes and stuff. We would do like it'd be like super cheap to buy them, like a hundred bucks, but you'd get a Rhino and five Marines. <clears throat> it wasn't designed to make money; it was designed to give back to the community. And so we would build all the models beforehand and lay them out for the airbrushing. And I'd always use Blood Raven colors to teach the airbrushing. That was before Twitch, before I found out I can do so much. I can read so many more people on Twitch. It was fun to do it. We did it every year. That pervy monk also did some shipping crates for tabletopgamer.com. Yo, these look great, man. You airbrush these two. Warlander, you're going to win that raffle? Better get a ticket, homie. Thank you for the pickles. Appreciate it. Pickles for the pickle jar. I'm going to see how the raffle's doing. Seven people in the raffle. We're almost ready to come back to the paintbrush details, guys. Dr. 1PX. What, what to put on the center of the banner? Uh, Roman numerals are going to be your easiest, surest bet to not fucking freehand up. That's what I always say. <laughs> per Pervy Monk, yeah, for sure. Pickles for the pickle jar, Tabletop Gamer. Thank you, brother. And we did remove the bits uh, meter. We weren't getting a lot of movement out of it, and I feel like it was taking up too much real estate on our layout. So when we, we redesigned our layout to be more fresh, easier, give us more real estate, I removed it. Ehrman's Wrath. I don't know. Oh, Clunky. Send me an at next level painting with the names you picked, if you have. I didn't see it come through. All right. We're done with this session. We're going to get back to work, guys. Now it's time to start paint brushing. We're going to start making that, that fire look flame as fuck. So
So right out the gate, next, uh, good old Flash gets yellow. Oof. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, Airman's Wrath. God. Such a baby. Here we go. So let me repeat what I said last time. Great starting place. You see that there's roughness and transitions here. Looks like Prussian blue and blue green. It's speckled because either or paint wasn't thin enough and or you went straight from Prussian blue to blue green. You need to do a mid-tone. You need to take the Prussian blue mixed with the blue green 50-50. Thin it down. Do your first transition. Eliminates the speckling. Then go to your pure blue green for the final highlight. That's how I get all my stuff with no speckles. That That's the system. <laughs> but that's what we said earlier. You've got great transitions. Everything's looking good. You can even go back in there and eliminate those transitions by just doing the mid-tone after the highlight. You see how I go back and forth on the flame? Okay, let's get a glove on. And now, let's start introducing some Flash Gets Yellow. It's going to be tricky because of all the weird angles. But what we're trying to do is glaze some Flash Gets Yellow in. For that super bright yellow. Got some of the brass there. I don't care for now. And we're glazing it thin. Kind of where the flame is originating from. The or you know, like where it's where it's the hottest. It's giving us some great highlight opportunities. And the the angle is gonna be the hard part here. That pure, super bright yellow right there. It's going to absolutely start kicking the flame up to that next level. There we go. Turn the light down a little bit so you can appreciate it a little bit more. Subtle glaze strokes. It's very watered down. It's going to dry out a little bit more muted than it's showing when we initially apply it. We're going to take one or two coats. See, we're reaching in. To, to the core of where the flame is poking out of these incense balls or whatever. important to find the angle that allows you to drag the brush across the surface so you can create straight lines help give us that brightness we got 
to glaze it down real quick, thinning it out. Do I have a guide to painting soot? I do not zidlick, but I should. I should put that in the list. Yeah, like brazers, clip hot. <clears throat> Airman's Wrath, that's Signar uh, Base Blue and Arcane Blue. I love those colors. Oh, oh, clunky! He 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 submitted the um the names for the for the the straw poll. I'll jump on that here in a second. Can you whisper that to me, oh clunky, so I don't lose it? Copy and paste it. Glazing that yellow in, you see it getting us some nice streaks. Cleaning it up. It's important to work thin here to blend it in. And since I have a little of this flash gets yellow while I'm letting the glazes dry, I'm going to highlight some of the peaks of this cape since I'm back here. Staying busy. You guys know my favorite way to highlight green is with a little yellow. Down here by the the end of the tatter cloth, a little bit of glaze in some of this yellow. Let it look its best. A little bit at the top we need to get to we missed a lot of this in our first pass. We gotta glaze it down a lot, get it real thin right here. And just yellow this up. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out that weathered wood. <clears throat> and we're gonna use that as an off-white highlight. A second, I got some whispers I need to read. Oh, Nick P1. I like that. Nick P1 <clears throat> says he's going to donate Yo Dogs to whoever wins the chapter name contest. I like that.
Okay, so we're taking a little of that weathered wood and brightening up. This is that secret weapon, weathered wood. We're going to brighten it up a little bit, mix in with our yellow. And just add a little bit at the very base of these new highlights we've established. To help pop it out even further. See how we got, look how much more bright it is. Sorry, I'm, I'm mixing it up again on my thumb. Let's do the same right here. And this is, that's kind of that final exclamation point. Helps us get that brightness. Guilty O'Neill, thank you for the pickles, homie. This is not an easy model to hold while highlighting these flames. A little bit right there in that hole. There we go. Some nice, nice flame action. Feeling it. Minnesota Man, Kev, Minnesota Man Kev says, why are you not leading the heavy metal team yet? <laughs> yep, Jack of Clubs, you missed a name contest. You did. I guess you missed something. We haven't start. We haven't done the poll yet. We sourced the names. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little weathered wood with no yellow. And here on the focal point, we're just gonna brighten it up a little bit. <clears throat> If I was on the heavy metal team, Minnesota Man Kev, GW would have a, such a different look. If I was the lead on that team, like the art director, I'd be like, not enough, not enough pink, not enough green, not enough contrast, too dark. All right, since I'm playing with yellow anyway, let me grab the Necrotite green out. Oh, that's a great idea, Minnesota man. I mean, uh, White Turk. So we got the Necrotite green out so that we can... Hold on, I got to grab the, the Trader green as well. I'm going to make a brighter mix here so we can trace out some of the details right here.
that's hard. Drawn a couple of lines on his fly. And then we'll come in and highlight him even more to the yellow after it dries. Okay, let's do this name contest real quick for my man, O Clunky. So that's where we're at right now with uh, good old Gonorrhea Gary. Let's, let me, let me jump into the whispers real quick. Race never says, ever painted any Relic Knight stuff? I think I'd look, it'd look bitching with your contrast style. Thanks, man. Uh, er Erzman Wrath, currently Primaris are their own thing, but probably in the future you'll see them be the only thing. Alright, I'm just going to make it easier. I'm not going to, like, transfer Yodogs or anything. Whoever wins this contest, I will give them enough Yodogs to get the thing they were trying to get. Rather than, like, everyone, like, Rasanante is coming in on this. He's like, y'all donate my Yodogs, too. You know what? I'd rather just give a give a new... Pro I'll, how, how about this? I'll make it even easier. I'll make it even easier. Whoever wins this name contest, because Oh Clunky has to stick to it. That's the rules. Wins a, I'm just going to give them a die roll. I'm not going to fuck with yo dogs. I'm not going to take people's yo dogs, give them to somebody else. Whoever wins this one get, gets because my man old Clunky's going to have to stick with it. It's actually bad for the yo dog economy to just keep moving yo dogs around. That's why we don't do any gambling here. So I'm just going to give him a fucking prize. All right, let me check the whispers real quick. But thank you, Rasanante, and everybody else who's uh, offered to donate to this name contest. Damn it. What is going on here? Okay. Oh, clunky. Here we go. So here are the three names. Or more. Hold on. Let me jump into the straw poll. We're going to do a new one. Quick, bear with me. Oh, Clunky, I hope you remember whose names these were. <laughs> All right, the straw poll is engaged. Here they are. Let me actually get it in a screen capture real quick so we can review it together. we go so right now wardens of the void are in the lead let me set a timer real quick a chronos i'm gonna do one minute you guys will know it's over when you hear the music oh let me get the mini up on deck yep yep This is what we're looking at right here, guys.
Is the timer meaningless? Oh, Voiden. Yeah, Void Wardens of the Void or de Landslide. Yep, you're right. We don't need it. I turned off the timer. So the audible is Void Wardens. I like that. So it can either be Wardens of the Void or Void Wardens. Either way, that's the winner of this name contest for Old Clunky. What's up, Sindel? All right, so who is the winner of this name contest? Who's the one who who's the one who offered that name? takers on that techno cat techno cat is the winner <laughs> let me give this dice roll to techno cat real quick techno cat welcome to the show let's see what you win for that name contest Scully, thank you for the sub, brother. So, Techno Cat, you just want a Privateer Press gift back. Congratulations, brother. Whisper me all your real people's information so I can send this to you in the mail and also remind me what you want in case I forget. Okay. Well, oh, my main man, Ryan. The Order of Fear. My fellow barbarian enthusiast and Diablo. Thank you for the sub, brother. Much love, homie. Appreciate that, Holmes. All right. All right. Let's do a little... <laughs> while we let that... Oh, God, excuse me. Now that we did that flame and it looks dope, we're going to let it seal up for a little bit. Might be introduce a glaze or two. I don't know. Not a scientist. I'm going to take this opportunity to promote for one second, if you guys don't mind. Gamers Grass! Exclamation point, Gamers Grass right here. So let me explain this to you guys. We have a new layout. It's easier to understand in some ways, but probably confusing because you're used to the old way. Promo commands are always going to be right here. Actually, you see this? So, we're running a promo for Gamers Grass, 10% off for 24 hours. Use that link, and I'll show you what the promo code is. Obviously, it's a Mark of the Beast donation day. The shirts are up for pre-sale. Ain't always top D, okay? Up here are our reward commands. These are all. This makes it easier for people to track down the commands they need to know about to use their Yo Dogs in our redemption page. This is where we put the new email tracker. This is the subscriber points for our new email. Top D's chilling right here, keeping a squanch. He's the squanchiest individual. The sauciest people are here are the legends, the top in the last 30 days who are the biggest Yodog legends. Recent donators with their pickles. And of course, up here is our living billboard, which shows you on a rotational, it's always been there, it shows you what the rewards are. But also, this is now where our alerts show up so they don't take over our real estate over here. And now I'm going to jump in for just a few minutes. Let's jump in on a uh, little show and tell. So I can make sure everyone who updated today. And also today is the last day of the month, which is the last day of Yo Dogs this month. We have a raffle going. I'll make sure everyone has an opportunity to get in the raffle. Maticus, Basculus, Valhalla. Let's take a look at it, brother. Look at this.
Why don't I just get a weird sound effect? What do I have on in the background? I don't know. Is that a whisper? Uh, how to make your own washes. Arisman Wrath, you can use almost any paint as a wash with a little medium. NS Ogre, I plan on introducing shot glasses to the Yodog store next month. I don't think I have Facebook open, though, do I? Oh, I do. It's closed now. Thank you, Warboy. Sano Falu card. What kind of palette are you using? I use ancient Chinese technique, if you guys didn't know. We use water bottle lids that we save from our drinking water. And you'll notice that a lot of times I mix the paint right on my uh, latex glove. Good job on this, Maticus. Sev7, seven, working on the burning trees. I really love the theory here. What ne size needle do I use? Dread, uh, dreadnought? 0.35. All day, every day. Good job, Sev7. Yeah, I just love the burning wood look, man. You did, What a great theory to execute. Omega Sun says, working an airman for a commission, do you think the flame on the bottom of the cloak is too much? Uh, nope, I think it's just right. You just got to go in there and highlight it. You got to get a good border going, and you got to get some good brightness established at the bottom of the cape. Those two colors kind of require a separation, like a border, a darker color. So you can mix a little black in with the blue and just kind of trace the outer outline between the purple and the blue. Fluster clucked. 4XL is the biggest I can go. Jack of clubs. <laughs> we will. Mr. TFG, working on a blade for the Demon Lady. I, it's a learning process with these bright colors. Absolutely. I see you're working into subtle transitions. Exclamation point show if you want to get your work in progress in the gallery, guys. <laughs> Omega Sun, front view of Aramon. I love the alternate color scheme here. Zombie, would, would love to eventually see your take on some of the new Thousand Suns. I mean, you guys, okay, you guys remember when I painted that Thousand Suns Lord back in the day? Uh, earlier this year, I think, or last year. God, uh, Dusty Dan. That's literally how I would paint them. I would use some strong yellows to go off with some bright-ass blues. Minnesota Man Kev, yeah, I mean, like, I feel you on that. That's where I'm at with it, bro. Been doing it this way for years, man, and I haven't had an issue. I lived in Colorado, I lived in Durham, I lived in LA. Weather has not in, not been an issue with it. If you're having issues with dry time, uh, maybe that's, I mean, I might just pay fast. So I might not be the best person to ask. Bloodbeard with a mark of the beast donation, earning some extra yo dogs on this Friday. Let me give him his bonuses right here. There you go. Thanks, brother. As usual, Fridays are Mark of the Beast. 
Let me do it. Let me go back to the show and tell. Do a quick refresh. Up oh, there we go. We're done for now. All right, 13 minutes left in top D, guys. Okay, nothing up here has changed. We still have our latency protection timer. We have 13 minutes left in the show right here. Once the show ends, the person who is top donator right here wins a free dice roll and gets to keep all their yo dogs. And I'll give you guys a chance to spend all your yo dogs. I'll keep the bot on tonight. But also, once the show ends, I'll give you guys a chance to get in on the mega the mega gift bag raffle. Have you paid your dues, Jack? Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. Bloodbeard, congratulations on your redemption there. I cannot get an XLT uh, or a Pride. Somewhat limited on the range. It's already amazing that I could just order ladies and men's fits all together and bundle them together. I might be able to do, uh, if I did it, I mean, we're doing high quality cotton, so like, I'm limited. But I'll investigate in future runs if this question comes up more. And I might be able to, I mean, I haven't, I haven't made them yet, so like, I might be able to explore that for you, I'll let you know. All right, let's do about 10 more minutes of painting. Oh, yeah, we got more to come, guys. Don't go anywhere because after the show, we're going to be bumping docks with Jason Craze, Slow Fuse Gaming, and he's going to keep you guys going on your painting needs for another couple hours, man. Probably three or four hours, knowing him. Okay, we're taking some pure flash gets yellow. Do I have a smaller brush than this? Do I have a newer one? Hold on, I might need a different brush. Yep, I think I do. Little flash gets yellow on the old mobile thumb palette. <laughs> or pride, don't we all? Son of Acklard, do you always use brushes or even airbrush? You must be literally brand new. I'm talking seconds of our stream. We are a predominantly airbrush studio. We do so much airbrushing. As a matter of fact, I would go as far to say as we're, that Next Level Painting, myself, am known for airbrushing. This is There's so much airbrushing on this model that it's ridiculous. But I always combo off with the paintbrush. We just did a whole, we just spent the whole show working that flame with mostly airbrush. Airman's Wrath, when doing the transition with the airbrush, do one straight color with the gumbo and then 50 50. Yep, that's exactly how I do it, bro. Okay, let's take this yellow and see if we can get in real tight. This is tough. Oh my God, it just dried on my brush. I have no medium in there. Flash gets yellow, it does dry quick. Let's see if we can get a nice little border going here. The flash gets yellow. Quick little glaze. And we haven't done any of the black steel highlights yet. It's just washed. But this will probably be it for this model on stream uh, until we do the base. <clears throat> we'll, be, we'll probably be switching to the Primaris Captain after this.
Yeah, and Jason Craze, which comes on right after me, he's also a pretty solid um, airbrush artist, too. He has a different technique. He's more of a traditionalist with his pre-shades. Very artistic. And we're kind of wacky with our color transitions. Okay, we're going to grab a little necrotite green. Devious Dungeons painting. Oh my god. Ooh, baby, I like, like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it. Truly appreciate it. Serendipity appreciates that. My man, Dungeon Master Brad, coming in with the ultimate hype. He will probably end this show as the top D. Get his Yo Dogs. Get his dice roll. Thank you, man. If I can get some exclamation point hype in the stream from my main man. Truly appreciate it. Okay, we're going to reintroduce a little flash gets with a little bit of that necrotite green. Green it up a little bit. I want to I want to get a little bit more green going here. This is real thin. It's kind of a glaze. It'll dry, it'll dry all muted out. Get some nice hyper contrast as we like to do here. Zidlik, I don't know. I have to take a look at the colors we have and I have to make a snap decision uh, by Tuesday. <laughs> I have to see what I got in stock and what I want to try. Honestly, my gut's telling me Ultramarines just because that's pretty classic, but I don't think we've done we've done a lot of red. We've done a lot of blue already on the show. Like, what would be the color people want to see? I might do a straw poll. Next episode, I'll tell you what I think I can achieve, achieve and I'll let you guys decide what chapter it is. Red, white, and blue. Son of... God, no underscores. I'm going to say Alucard. Son of Alucard, thank you, brother. You are a legend, homie. Enjoy the emotes, brother. I was actually thinking Imperial Fist. Right out of the top of my head, uh, Raisabi, I was literally thinking it. Player J, you need a critique before I log off? You need it? I mean, I'll let you guys vote, man. You know how I am. I, like, I'll say, hey, this is what I think we can do. Pick the one, and then we'll stick with it. Try to be as interactive with the community as possible. Because, like, if I already... I mean, like, if I've done it three or four times already, it has less value, right? So let's let's come up with something crazy. Even if it's something I haven't done before, then we, we can work it out together. And his name is John Devious Dungeon Paintings. I'm bad at math. <laughs> Appreciate that, homie. Uh, the green, doing them green. Oh, a thousand bits have just been dropped in the pickle jar all in, in around my face. Thank you, son of Alucard. But yeah, don't, there's no reason you guys don't need to figure it out right now. Next, I'll have them built. I'll have them primed. And then next episode, I'll let you guys vote, man, on whatever color scheme we do. All right. So this is where we're at with um, Gonorrhea Gary. 
I will probably finish them off stream, do all the final details off stream. Okay? So that we don't just beat a dead horse. He'll be a top donor to give away in August because next month Have is going to be dice bags. Yes, sir, the check is in the mail. What was that? Somebody just whispered me. I didn't see the full whisper. Um, also, congratulations on that redemption there, buddy. I want to say that was probably Devious Dungeons. Oh, if you have any direct questions... Okay, I see what you're saying, brother. If you have any direct questions about a painting scheme, just find me on Facebook. Katie Boucher on Facebook. I will, I, I, that's half of my job is answer questions there. Uh, zombie. Okay, so I'm glad you asked. So you guys remember we painted... Beehole Berry last week. This Chaos Spawn, where we did a totally different type of effect here. Some muscles and some airbrush. And you guys picked the more Slaneshi theme. But we did the lava base last episode. I showed you how secretly easy lava is, right? Well, I'm going to use the same type of lava base on Gonorrhea Gary. And I'm gonna do it with glowing greens, so it's gonna be it's gonna be the same type of effect, but but those green neon green pools, is kind of where I'm at with them. But anyway, uh, my man Behold Berry's done. He's got some cool gloss tech. He'll be a top D in August, cause like I said, next month top D is gonna be the new dice bag, not a scientist. Son of Acul uh, Alucard, um, if I'm doing a big project. Like a lot of my, like a whole army, I absolutely use Rattle Can from Home Depot. I use the cheapest black primer they make because it's thin and cheap. I don't use the, the expensive shit because it's actually too thick, too textured. Uh, but when I'm doing these one-off models for the show, I use airbrush primer all day, every day. Okay, so real quick, let's jump over to the whip gallery because Player J is having a is having a stroke. He needs us to look at his model right now. All right, Player J. Now, what's the question? Are we just looking at this and appreciating your skills? It, there's no question. And also, guys, 1 minute, 17 seconds, and Devious Dungeon Painting is indeed the top D. Son of Aculard. If you just found me, I have a robust YouTube channel with studio tutorials. These are live. These are totally different. Definitely, I think it's exclamation point YouTube or social media or something. All the commands are down here below somewhere. Or next level painting on YouTube. I literally have a video about airbrush priming. And the studio videos, you're going to be in for a treat there too. They're very concise in like 10 minutes long versus three hours of interaction. So we do a weekly studio video on YouTube. Comes out early on Patreon, and we do two weekly live shows here. Oh, critique. Oh, you just want me to critique it, Player J? I like it. Uh, I feel like it could be brighter, but that's my absolute subjective bias, okay? That's my subjectivity. What I do like is the creativity, and I love the attention to detail on the wings with that yellow. I think it's very creative. If it was me, I would definitely explore a way to make the red brighter, uh, take even a further secondary highlight on the ex the, the, the peaks of the wings. When you gotta get swifty in here. It's time to get swifty. Uh oh. You gotta get swifty. Oh yeah. Take off your pants and your panties. Shit on the floor. My man DV's dungeon painting is the top D. We will roll that dice. Don't worry, we'll come right back to that. The top D is over. That's where I'm at with it, Jesse. I think that it's an amazing, very creative uh, color scheme. I want to see that one extra pop on that yellow. And that would make me... That would be like, yep, that's literally as pro as it gets. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, it's more time. It's very time-consuming. <clears throat> very time-consuming. All right. So, we're done with the top D. So, first things first. Devious Dungeon Painting has won a die roll. And I don't have the die roll set up. Of course not. Here we go. Devious Dungeon Painting. I'm about to roll this dice for you. Okay. 
So my man Dungeon Master Brad, he has won Gygar the Fellhanded, a single miniature from the Burning of Prospero, high level character miniature. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, let me uh, just do this real quick before I forget. Uh, let me let me let me annotate the winners in the Twitch overflow folder. And who and was it um who, who won the uh, P3 gift bag? Technocat. Okay, just don't want to fuck that up. All right, guys, so we have one more mega raffle. This is the last show of the month, which means the last show to earn yo dogs, which means you can dump your yo dogs into. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave the bot running all night, guys. So that way you guys have time to redeem. And I'll even make an announcement, maybe turn it on again so you guys can redeem before the fourth. But we absolutely have a raffle going right now. I'm about to put the timer on the raffle, okay? There it is. Can I actually send that to the back layer? This is the first time I'm using the new overlay, guys. There we go. Sick. Okay, so here's how it works. If you have 1,500 Yo Dogs, because it's the 30th and you've watched every episode, you should almost always get 1,500 Yo Dogs. If you're a subscriber, you get bonus Yo Dogs. If you donate, you get even more. But the fact of the matter is, there's many things you can you could earn just for watching, and this is one of them. So, exclamation point, ticket, space one, to redeem. So, I'm going to put five minutes on the clock, and we're just going to talk it out, okay? And we're going to just do a little Q&A action. And you have five minutes to get in on this. There it is. Exclamation point, ticket, space, number of tickets you want most cases it's going to be one exclamation point ticket space one this is the mega ultra super gift bag this thing is a combination of all of our reward tiers it is super fat a new video just came out today too son of Ali, uh, Ali, alucard god underscores <laughs> <laughs> so um, what we do is um, we put out a new video every Friday on Patreon for two weeks. Then the new video from two weeks ago makes it to YouTube. So the, the patrons for $6 a month gain an ad-free early exclusive uh, access to the videos. And YouTube, you see them with ads two weeks later. So we've got two videos that aren't even on, Patreon, on, on, on YouTube yet. So you need 1,500 Yo Dogs to actually get in on this, guys. Three minutes, 50 seconds. And like I said, if you just tune in uh, and you're discouraged by how little Yo Dogs you have, don't worry. It's literally because it's the last day of the month. Dyke, Deacon Frost. Thanks, brother. Thanks for that sub. Just call him Sonny. I'm with you on that one, brother. So, yep. <sighs> we have a lot of new people in here, a lot of new schoolers, a lot of old schoolers. I want to just say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for the support. You guys make this shit possible. We're going to start the next show off on the 4th. We're going to have shot glasses, and we're going to have dice bag giveaways. And we also, the t-shirts are up for pre-order. You know how this works. T-shirts are always exclusive. Not uh, The I'm not a scientist t-shirt. You could, the color is not locked yet, but it looks like it's going to be great. So if you use exclamation point shirts, it'll take you to the page on my blog where you can buy them and also vote on the color. You know how it works, though. It's exclusive. We will never make that t-shirt again. So these 30 days is the only chance to get it unless you win it on a top donator giveaway many months from now. And you guys have seen that's far more expensive prospect than just buying the shirt if you wanted the shirt. I appreciate that, Warlander. Tiny Dog is overnight at the vets. Uh, Bonet is out there, just tore up. So after this, I'm going to go out there and give her some hugs and everything. 
Two minutes left, guys, to get in on the raffle, and then we're going to pull the winner of the Mega Ultra Gift Bag. Exclamation point ticket. Space one. And normally, guys, we have two gift bags. We have a gift bag and, a, and, the, ultra, and the intro. Those are also fun little gift bags with promotional items in it, like paint. Uh, tufts of grass and resin bases. We do sell out of those pretty quick though. Once you get past halfway in the month, uh, the donators usually wipe that out. So that's why we still have this. This raffle is a way for people who have accrued 15 inch Yodox to spend them. Dan, okay. See, I've played a couple games. The <laughs> B hole Barry should be the channel mascot. <laughs> I appreciate that, zombie. NS Ogre, there will definitely be a Facebook update. Chaos is going to have a renaissance. Uh, Aramid's Wrath. So if you love Chaos, this is the time to get into it. All right, we're almost, we're almost ready to pull the winner here, guys. Got 40 seconds left in the raffle, and then we're going to pull the winner. End of the month. Big shout out to all my supporters, viewers. You're all, you're all in my heart. Thirty seconds. Go time. All right. <laughs> We're going to do it. Zombie, congratulations, brother. Sorry, Warlander. Zombie, you earned it, brother. Congratulations. Uh, pretty sure I know where you live, but just send me a whisper reminder. Yep, <laughs> give, give him the Ric Flair woo. Love Ric Flair. All right, there we go. That's the end of June, guys. Don't go anywhere. Let me get Jason Craze on the horn, Slow Fuse Gaming. We have another three to four hours of content of masterful airbrushing and paintbrushing from this legend. Let me get him in on here on Discord real quick. Oh, oh, my, oh my God, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh my god. Balls, balls, balls. Balls. You can't balls. stop. Jen just balls, can't help herself. Balls, balls. <laughs> you got here at just the right time. What's going on, my man? <laughs> uh, we were just finishing up June, um, doing our raffles. There's a lot of new new street uh, viewers in, in the stream today. Nice. Nice. So I've been hyping you up like I do, setting you up to fail like I do. Good. <laughs> That's always good. I was hanging out in there all day. I was there from start to finish today. I just didn't feel the necessity to say anything. I told, I told everyone you were literally the greatest painter on earth. So now if you're not, I'm the greatest painter on earth. And you're a liar. So you become a liar and the second greatest painter on the earth. <laughs> we'll see. Or something like that. We'll see how it, sh we'll see how it shakes down. <laughs> we'll see how the history books remembers this day. Oh my God. The winners of wars own the history books, so. <laughs> so, we'll see how that all pans no, out. No doubt, no doubt. But yeah, we got a lot of people in here who were like, oh my God. Somebody uh, somebody even came in and was like, do you ever airbrush? And I was like, hmm. Well. <laughs> I saw that. He was asking, he's like, hey, do you uh, just brush paint with a brush or with an airbrush? But, you know, admittedly, you didn't airbrush today. I, so. I air, actually, oh, actually air, you did. I did. You airbrushed a little bit on the flames on the on the dude. I saw that. So, I mean, but this thing is like, it's a whole brave new world. I'm very excited for somebody to who's trying to find hobby resources because... 
you, you got this to is see, a good day to do it. It's a good day because you got to see some really wacky contrast techniques, and I have some really outside the box way of doing things in my transitions. But you're about to see Jason, who's a very much uh, like a very classic airbrush artist, and you're about to see this. You're about to see this incredible, subtle way of doing things here. So you're going to see two contrasting techniques that both will get you to two impressive places, in my opinion. <laughs> Well, good man. Jump on in here. We're gonna get it going. All right, guys. Start you know, you know what we do. Party. We're about to raid this guy, so wait for the host to come over. Then jump into Jason's channel. Show him the love. Show him the scary Terry. Show him the bomb snails. We also endorse the unicorn with yo dogs. All right, <laughs> love you, here. homie. He's here laughing. I'm toasting the camera with <laughs> I'm Moscow laughing meals. Laughing at that. I'm like, I don't know. What I, see. I see you uh, <laughs> above me with your cup, and then I look over there, and it's all sweaty. All right, man. We'll see you in a minute. Love you, Pims.